There are a lot of businesses in Grand Theft Auto Online, and some of them are quite expensive. Just the newest Chop Shop is going to cost you close to $5 million to get fully set up, which is kind of crazy. But what if I told you that a business that has been in the game since the beginning of businesses costs over $12 million to achieve peak efficiency in? Well, I'm not joking. It's special cargo. To own five large warehouses, it is going to cost you $11.8 million. And that is buying the five cheapest large warehouses when it comes to special cargo. The craziest part is you also need to own an office building, which is at least another $500,000 to a million dollars. So to get your entire criminal enterprise start off, just if you want to have special cargo, it's going to cost you close to $13, $14 million dollars, which is actually mind-boggling when you think about it. In today's video, we're going to be talking about special cargo. Is it worth it, like all the money grinders say, to spend that amount of cash on a single business? How long is it going to take you to earn that money back? And is it worth it as an investment over time? Or should you be going for something more cheap, like the Kosatka and the agency paired together, which is only about $4 million? Let's get into it. The first thing I should mention is that obviously you don't have to buy large warehouses when it comes to special cargo. You can also buy small and medium, and you don't need to buy five warehouses. But the thing about special cargo is the larger the warehouse you own, the more money you are going to make. And that is because you get an increased payment on the more crates you have in your warehouse. Now you're probably like, duh, if I have two crates, it's worth more than one. But the individual crates themselves are also worth more. So let's say you have a small warehouse that stores 16 crates. Well, each crate is worth, let's say, $5,000. But if you have a large warehouse and you have, let's say, 40 crates, each singular crate is going to be worth like $8,000. So each crate is worth a lot more money, and that is because the more crates you have, the more interest you gain on them, which is actually really, really nice. And that is the major incentive on why I always say if you're going to use special cargo, buy a large warehouse. Owning five large warehouses is obviously the best option, and that is because of the fact that you don't need to wait for the cooldown, and you can start sourcing for each one differently, which is going to not only save you time, but money over a long period of using cargo warehouses. The other reason you want to own large warehouses, and a lot of them, is because of the new assistants that have been added into the game, Lupe. The way Lupe works is every 48 minutes, she will be able to source you crates. So you just need to make your way to each warehouse you own, pay Lupe $7,500, and she will go off and source you crates. If you own five large warehouses, and you only sell when they are at the maximum capacity, you will be earning $140. $44,000 an hour with Lupe's assistance. That's actually pretty good money, and it makes it the most effective passive business in the game. You just got to make sure you're constantly sourcing the cargo. The nice thing is that it doesn't matter what you're doing, the assistants will always bring the crates back. So let's say you go over to each warehouse, you pay the assistants the money, and then you close the game, and you come back 48 minutes later, you load the game back up. Well, if it's been 48 minutes, the cargo will be delivered, and you can do it all again. It's actually really nice. It means if you're doing missions or things that technically don't count as you being in an online lobby, which normally won't give you passive income, when it comes to Lupe, that's not going to affect it at all, which is really good, to be honest. So let's say you buy the five cheapest large warehouses, which is going to cost you around $11.8 million. How long is it going to take you if you just plan on using the passive income to make that money back and break even with Lupe's assistance? Well, 82 dollars hours of in-game time. Yes, you heard that right, 82 hours. That is absolutely insane, and that's going to be quite a bit of effort you're going to have to put in. Now, I guess the nice thing is that you're not actually doing much. You're just walking over to the warehouses every now and then, paying the associates, and then going back on your merry way. But that's still going to be a very long time, especially when you could invest that money elsewhere if you don't own other businesses and make a lot more faster. I am quite a hardcore grinder, I would personally say. I have spent about a year and a half on my Broke to Millions account when I started it for this YouTube channel. And in that amount of time, I have earned close to 1 
billion dollars and spent over 750 million on vehicles, which I've actually done a garage tour on. So I know a thing or two about money grinding. And I can tell you for a fact, one of my least used businesses when it comes to earning money has been Special Cargo. Why? Well, first of all, it is incredibly boring. I do not want to sit spending my entire day grinding crate after crate, doing the same missions over and over and over. It is boring, it's tedious, and I just don't see how people find it fun. But the second reason I don't do Special Cargo is because it's not even good at making money. There are so many hardcore grinders out there that will once again come into the comments section and say, oh, I still like Special Cargo because of this or that. But I can tell you for a fact that it is not a good business for making money with. And I'm going to show you the numbers right now. If you own five large warehouses, each one of those need 111 crates to fill up to the max. So that is 555 crates in total you need. Divided by three crates per source, that is 185 sources in total to fill all 555 crates. The average source takes you around five minutes, and I think that's actually a pretty conservative guess. So, five minutes times the 185 sources is 925 minutes. In other words, around 15 hours. Large warehouses sell for 2.2 million. So if you multiply that by the five large warehouses, that is $11 million of profit. Until you also factor in the time you've placed, $730,000 per hour. And that's without even adding in the fact that you also have to spend $660,000 on each warehouse you have filled up. That is if you're only spending five minutes on each and every single crate you are sourcing on average. 730,000 per hour. Even if you doubled the amount of money you could make, you're still earning less than if you just did the Cayo Perico heist paired with something simple like passive income in the background. I know that the Cayo Perico heist can get boring and repetitive, but there's no way people are gonna sit here and tell me that grinding special cargo for 15 hours is more enjoyable than simply playing a Cayo Perico heist here or there just to put into your mind how bad of an investment special cargo is let's say instead of spending the 11 million 12 million dollars on those large warehouses you instead bought a kosatka and an agency that's around four million dollars a third of the price well you can earn around on average 1.8 million dollars if you pair payphone hits the agency vip contract and the Cayo perico heist so with around 1.8 million dollars and you multiply that by the 15 hours spent grinding special cargo you would have earned 27 million dollars so we subtract the let's say five million dollars from purchasing those two properties in total you would have netted 22 million dollars in around 15 hours of work. Let's compare that to now the investment in special cargo. So as we said, around $12 million invested in special cargo, and then you're making $11 million back, but you also have to subtract the amount of money you've spent on those crates. So it's probably closer to around 9 million. Uh, so you're still in the hole about $3 million. So you'll have to do another session of grinding to make that money back. Let's say it's a money grinder's dream. Rockstar's feeling really generous this week. They give you double money on your sale missions with special cargo warehouses. And you decide even better than that to sell in a public lobby. Okay, so now you're earning upwards of, let's say, $1.8, $1.9 million per hour of the work you put in. That's great, except as we just went over before, I could do the same effort playing with my agency and my Kosatka and earn the same money. So at peak efficiency, when Rockstar is giving you double money and you're selling in a public lot at me, getting an additional 50%, so that's 2.5 times the income, you are breaking even with a business that is one third of the price to buy both of and is actually more fun than sitting there for 15 plus hours grinding special cargo. I'm not trying to come off as a negative Nancy, and you can do what you want with your time, but I can personally tell you that investing $12 million in the special cargo is one of the worst investments you can make as a new player. I would highly recommend it is the last purchase you make when it comes to businesses, because it is by far one of the biggest money sinks in the game. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and hopefully you learned a thing or two. As always, if you want more content like this to know maybe what to stay clear of, make sure to click that subscribe button down below. This type of video is mainly to help you guys so you don't make mistakes like I have in the past, you know? Because 
many years of playing GTA, I once made the mistake of buying large warehouses, and then I got really bored of grinding and just never used them. And that's the same thing on my main account. I have a lot of money, and I've made a lot of money with special cargo, but I don't want to grind it anymore, when I can just spend 40 minutes doing a quick Kyoprico heist, make the money I need, and then not have to touch it again. So that's kind of how I see it, and that's how I honestly think the most people see it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.